Hi, boys and girls. We are here for our final day of poetry. I know we're all excited for our three-day weekend, so let's get started. The five elements of poetry. The five elements of poetry overview. Number one, we have figurative language. Two, imagery. Three, voice four ideas and content, and five word choice. So in every type of poem that we write, we need to make sure that we are using all five of those elements. Our learning goal today, students will learn to recognize imagery, rhyme, rhyme scheme, meter, and syllabification in poetry. Our success criteria, students will learn to use imagery, rhyme, rhyme scheme, meter and syllabification by creating limericks. Let's look at what a limerick poem entails. A limerick is a special kind of nonsensical funny poem that has a stanza with five lines. Lines one, two, and five rhyme and have eight syllables each. Lines three and four rhyme and have five syllables each. Limericks follow a rhyme scheme called AABBA. Okay, so let's look at our example. There once was a boy from Mill Plain who got his hair caught in the drain. His head it did hurt. He kicked up some dirt and never went swimming again. So let's look at some of this vocabulary. First of all, this whole thing here that looks like a paragraph is what we call a stanza, okay? Then each one of these in poetry is what we call a line. So there's one, two, three, four, five lines in a limerick, okay? So if we're writing a limerick and let's say that we're writing along and this line gets too long, we can't go ahead and write it on here so that we have six lines. We always have to have five lines, okay? The next thing that we need to know and learn is rhyme scheme. So rhyme scheme is when you look at the end and the last word on each line and you make a pattern. So for example, you can see that these are color coded. This last word here is plain. And this last word is drain. Since they both rhyme, we're going to assign them the first letter of the alphabet, which is A. This is A, plain, and drain is A. Now, when we go to the third line in the alphabet, it's hurt. Hurt does not rhyme with plain and drain, so we assign it a different letter. We're going to assign it B. Now, hurt rhymes with dirt. Since they both rhyme, we're going to assign them both B. Now, the final word, again, does rhyme with plain drain. Plain drain again. So, since they all rhyme, we're not going to give it a different letter. We will be giving it the same letter as plain and drain. So, if you look over here on the far right, you'll see A-A-B-B-A. And that's what gives a limerick that rhyme scheme of A, A, B, B, A. So all of your limericks always have to have that same rhyme scheme. Now we know with most poetry, they all have a rhythm and a beat, just like music. So in order to keep the rhythm and the beat of a limerick, you also have to follow another rule. The other rule that you have to follow is that you have to have eight syllables on the lines one, two, and five. Then on lines three and four, you have to have five syllables. So remember, syllables are chunks of sound. So when in the first set line, we have there once was a boy from Mill Plain. So if we clap that out, there once was a boy from Mill Plain. There once was a boy from Mill Plain. That is eight syllables. Okay, so each, each word is actually one syllable. Now, if we go to the next line, who got his hair caught in the drain, those words are also one syllable words. So those also have eight syllables. 
if we go to the last line, it says lines one, two, and five have to have eight syllables. We run into some words that have more than one syllable. And never, that's two syllables, went swimming, that's also two. Again, that's also two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how we get our eight syllables, and that's how it keeps our rhythm and our beat. Now, these two lines have to have five syllables. His head, it did hurt. Now, notice they kind of tweak the words, and that's the fun part about poetry. When we speak to each other, do we say his head, it did hurt? No. But that's the fun with poetry is that you can tweak the words. We know what it means. He kicked up some dirt. Okay. Now, just remember, you have to keep that rhyme scheme. So those last words on the, each line have to rhyme. So each of these has that five syllables each. All right. So you have to remember, you have to have how many lines in a stanza? You have to have five. You have to have the rhyme scheme, A-A, B-B-A. They are nonsensical and they're funny, right? Um, remember to always be kind, but they are funny. And um, we have eight syllables on lines one, two, and five. And we have five syllables on lines three and four. So let's look at another example. Shel Silverstein is a fabulous author, and I encourage you to go to the Shel Silverstein website for to see some of his more of his poetry. Uh, he writes lots of limericks, um, and here's an example of one. There was an old man with a beard who said, "It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard." So let's look for that rhyme scheme. We have A, A, B, B, A. Definitely has that rhyme scheme. So have fun with writing your limerick. That's what you'll be doing in Schoology today. And I think that you'll have a lot of fun making these. All right, in conclusion, the five elements of poetry, we have figurative language, imagery, voice, ideas and content, and word choice. Remember a limerick. Again, make sure that you're writing these down so that you don't forget. A limerick is a special kind of nonsensical funny poem that has a stanza with five lines. Lines one, two, and five rhyme and have eight syllables each. Lines three and four rhyme and have five syllables each. Limericks follow a rhyme scheme called AABBA. Here's the example. And then don't forget, here's the rhyme scheme. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to your teachers. You'll be creating at least one. If you have fun with this, write a few more. I highly encourage you just to get started. Um, and it can be about any topic that you want. Just have fun with it. Maybe make a list of some rhyming words to get you started. And enjoy. Have fun. Again, have any questions, please reach out to your teachers.